how's it going guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be uh looking at some goodies that i got for the truck and i'm gonna be installing uh, one of the parts on the truck that i'm about to show you guys and as you guys saw from the intro clip i finally got um not my full set of wheels but i got the rear set of my wheels i'll explain to you guys how the whole transaction went down with the rear set and the front set. If you guys watched my last video, I didn't reveal what wheels I got, but I did order the front set of wheels. And I also got a new part that I've been wanting for the truck for a while now. It took two months to get, and that's what I'm gonna be installing today. It's really early right now, so I'm still kind of waking up. I haven't had my coffee, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right guys, so like I said, I've been waiting about two months for this part and here we have it. I ordered the High Country Grill for the Silverado. This truck does come with, uh, I would say the work truck grill. I bought it uh, about two months ago when I was in Vegas on vacation. They didn't have it in stock. And luckily my father-in-law was in town, picked it up, brought it to me. So today we're gonna be installing that. Now guys, this is what I'm most excited about. Oh. I don't wanna get dirty. Guys, look at that, guys. Yes, on my previous video, I said I was not gonna get a drag pack and I was gonna keep my wheels that I have now and just put some drag radios. But I couldn't hold myself, guys. So check these out. These are 17 by nine and a half weld forged. And these are three piece wheels. 17 by nine and a half model S77 HD. These are the S77 models. Um, yeah, guys, I'm so stoked to put these wheels. I, I had a friend that had these wheels on one of his old builds and this wheel is just so premium. I think it looks great. It's so light, it's extremely light and I think it looks really good. It is a very expensive wheel though. I, at least for my wallet is expensive. They do have Mickey Thompson's ET Street R's and the size of this Mickey Thompson tire is 315, 50, 17. So it's, I mean guys, this is a big tire. It is a big tire for sure. So like I said guys, I did get a super steal on this wheels. Shout out to Jose, Jose from Anaheim. So I saw these wheels, I did buy these used. But guys, they look almost brand new. They look brand new. He had them on his truck. Um, he sold his truck. He said he probably, well, he said he didn't do a pass on them, which even if he did, these things look brand new. They have plenty of life. It's not like they were beat at the track. <clears throat> I did order my front set. My front set is gonna take eight to 10 weeks to get here. Luckily, I have the rear set. So <clears throat> I hit him up, he still had them. He had them fairly priced. Um, I did tell him I'm from out of state. I was willing to drive 10 hours for the right price to get these. And we worked out a deal guys and he was easy to work with. Shout out to him for uh, selling me these wheels. As you guys can see from me part hunting, I always have to drive out to California, I have to drive out to Vegas and source out parts. Not that I like buying used parts all the time, but like sometimes it is cool. Like, oh, somebody's selling this. I don't have to wait for shipping or pay for shipping and stuff like that. Like these wheels, I would have to wait two months, but guess what? I have them here with the tire already installed in great shape. So that's a good thing. And as far as this, I'm not gonna keep the Chrome guys. I think I have to just only keep the grill portion of it and I'm gonna reuse my old one so it's all color match 
Don't think I forgot about the headlights, guys. I know these are not the high country headlights. I'm still hunting those down. And once I get those, you know. If you know, you know the look I'm going for. So this doesn't look too complicated. We're just gonna have to um, carefully unmount these front chrome bars. That's gonna be fun. Take that off as well. And yeah, guys, so let's get to it. So pretty much we gotta start off by taking off these uh, clips up here. I don't know how many they are, but it's a few clips. So we gotta take these clips off. And then I believe it has four bolts, which I'm gonna go through it. So remove the top plastic, remove the bolts that hold the grill, and then we're just gonna have to pop it out. So let's get started on that. And just like that, guys, we took off the grill. Check it out. It's pretty much, they're kind of like push, push clips. So as long as you remove the four bolts that go up here on the, I believe it's the radiator support. It's just four bolts, all the clips on top, and then you just pull it out carefully. It does have like little uh, lock pins here that you just have to pry up and pull it out. So I went ahead and I stick uh, a screwdriver and like a little clip remover to, to kind of pry it up while I pull it out. So, and this is a, I, I explained it on one of my videos last time, but I think I was confusing certain people with these coolers up front. So this in the front is the engine oil cooler. And in the back, I have a Mishimoto oil cooler, guys. I installed both of these. This was a kit already, and this one I just pieced up the parts and I ordered it. And this keeps my engine oil uh, cooler. So the other reasons why I have my inner cooler in the bottom, guys, I don't have enough space up here for the inner cooler for the front mount. So I do have a bottom mount. And yeah, guys, so back to the grill. I know this is a little beat up already. I was almost considering going chrome and switching out these to chrome, but I'm just gonna drive it like this, guys. Maybe this year I'll get the whole front end repainted. It's not a big rush for me. I do take a lot of rope chips with this truck, so this is gonna happen, getting all these rock chips. I'm not too worried about it. So I hope I don't break anything. So far I'm doing good. By the way, that's Rocco, that's Chance. If you hear the little dingly bells in the background, it's because of these two. So I'm gonna start prying off these little, uh, the giant bars in the front to get the chrome off. All right, guys, I'm like an hour into this project. It is a pain, man. It's a pain, guys. If you have two people, it's a lot easier. Whew, I'm sweating. This is the progress right now. I put the upper bar that's color match onto the uh, high country grill. As you guys can see, I removed these. Uh, this is the old one. These are the old bars. Pretty much guys, every little single clip you see on here has to be pried and released. There's a ton, man. I don't know if you can do this without bending or breaking some of these plastics. Luckily for me, I only broke one on the old grill, which I'm probably not going to use anymore, but it's going to look like it's all chewed up. It's going to look like you moved it out of place and it is a pain in the butt. But so far we have that going on. I'm going to finish um, putting the color match ones. They're right over there. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this project. Hey guys, I just finished the install on the grill. I'm sorry I couldn't do a detail install on this it was quite a pain and i don't want to bore you guys with prying every single little clip but essentially i was since i purchased a new grill all i had to do is remove the little chrome uh, bars on there and remove it from the old grill 
and pretty much snap them back. There was some hardware that was missing, but luckily the new grill had it. So I just, whatever pieces were missing, I put them back there. And that's what it looks like, guys. I think it looks, I think it looks freaking awesome, guys. The Z71 just has a little batch here and the bars are almost flipped up, facing up. This is the high country one. As you guys can see, it kind of has a little dip there, but it faces down. And something I've noticed actually with this grill, I'm gonna get better airflow into the, the coolers. This one has almost like a mesh kind of honeycomb, not really honeycomb, but like X kind of big giant rectangular squares. And from the looks of it, I mean, air was still going through it, but it seems like this one you could, you can see the components inside a little better and it's probably gonna get better airflow. And I will have to be retouching up the whole front, paint the bumper, the grill, the headlight bezels. And I don't know, this plastic down here is pretty faded and one of the clips is broken up here, so I might have to replace that. This little uh, um, front lip chrome piece actually looks looks in good shape, so I'll be, I'll be leaving that. But now the front end is complete. All I have to do is maybe go on the hunt for some high country headlights because the tail lights are already installed. And I think it looks great, guys. I probably won't install these till hmm, maybe the beginning of the summer because that's when I'm gonna get the front set. And I'm still debating on the front size tire. I really like this tire and I need to find a front tire that's the same diameter because that's I want the truck to sit level. I was thinking between a 235, 65, 17, or maybe a 255. 65 i'm still uh searching on that that would be it for this video guys if you guys uh want to do this conversion it's pretty easy uh this video probably doesn't explain how to do it step by step but it's 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 doable guys if i can do it you guys can do it so i'll catch you on the next one guys